Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. Hello. What are we doing? I've gone rogue. You've gone rogue. How's that? Oh yeah, you you bought some stuff. You stopped paying attention, so I bought some things. I in I, order. Okay. Acrobatics. All right. Deal with it. Acrobatics. Charge and charging strike, because why not? They're a good combo. Yeah, no, th 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 those are great. And then to appease you. Or frustrate you. We'll see. I've purchased customs and folklore. No, that's great. I would, that and, would never frustrate me. And trash, trash divining. Oh, excellent. Because it sounded cute. Love finding secrets in the trash. Yeah. No, that's going to pay off uh, a lot in the end. I, I guarantee it. Perfect. All right. Well, um... We're I we're level twenty one. We leveled up like four times. Books, the, huh? Books. You know what? Let's head back to that ruin because there's still a ton more books. All right. And uh, we could probably level up a few more times before we head to Bethesda Sousa. Do I have any more stuff I should get rid of while I'm here? Uh, I don't think so. Most of your weight is in grenades, and you want to keep all of that. Food, you could probably preserve your fresh food. I am hungry. All right, so go to the... You want to go to the clay oven or campfire? Stone oven. On my way. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh, you already X. preserved your fresh food. I wonder what's taking up so much room in your food. 11 pounds um four pounds are dreadroot tubers we should make some salves if we can six pounds okay. dedicated to what i missed it sorry there's six pounds dedicated to something else uh yuck, yuck wheat, stem. wheat go ahead and preserve your yuck wheat stem into uh yuck wheat chaff or stem i don't know yeah, all of it. Yuck, fermented yuck wheat stem. Yummy. Yum. yum. I mean yuck. Yeah, gross. All uh, right. Ba, 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 ba. We don't have to. Well, we can. We, I'm gonna have to cook a meal, I suppose. Um, but we, we are inspired, so like. Well, why not? if we're inspired, then maybe we should cook a meal when we get to the ruin. Because if you cook it now, you're going to waste that meal uh, traveling. So um, one, one thing we should do is try and uh, use up your tubers to make yourself um, some uh, salves. Just stole this hoop as water. Hold on. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, Inker. Mm -hmm. Salve injectors. What? Yeah, we can do that. We can make we six can make of those. make at least six. Yeah. So let's absolutely do that. Boop, 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 boop. I mean four. I thought you had enough for six. Uh, I don't have enough tubers. Try, try making it. Oh, no, that's shade and... Oh. Yeah, try making it anyway. Sometimes it lies. Huh. I don't have it. Okay. Fine. Fine. Maybe I only had three tubers and they weigh two each, so it's worth six weight. I thought, uh, you know, you could you could be onto something there. A pota they are potatoes, kind of. Potatoes are kind of heavy. Heavy. All right, um, let's leave this, or uh, wait. Let's leave. Good. Yeah, we're leaving. <laughs> That's not bad. You could throw away your kudzu stem. I, I really don't think, see it as being useful in, in any way. Just throw it away. More like a yuck zoo stem. You could eat it, yeah. Go ahead and eat it. Why not? There's a... So let me... I'll, this is going to turn into a grape real real quick, but um, so there's a, a weirdo extra mechanic in CUD wherein you can eat snacks to prolong the effects of your meal. Why has the stream ended? Hello? All right, sorry about that. That was good. Mm-hmm. All right, let's let's head off to a uh, a ruin. 
Now I'll never know what the weird thing is. What what was the weird thing? I don't know. I won't know. You won't tell me. What? Oh, the weird thing is that so there's a weirdo extra mechanic in code where you can eat snacks to prolong your meal. And um it, it kind of doesn't work because you have to eat a like an absurd number of snacks. You should you should be you should head head off. Well, let me uh, I don't even remember where it was. I'm pretty sure it was that one um southwest of Gritgate or not Gritgate, sorry, at Golgotha. Um but yeah, you can you can eat snacks to prolong your meal. And it's a weird mechanic that not a lot of people seem to understand. I've seen like different interpretations of it, but like uh, you can eat, for instance, like jerky or uh, uh, stale bread, whatever. Um, and uh, and it's it's just a strange one. I, I've often felt like there could be a skill that's just like, you know, your dude automatically eats snacks to prolong their meal as long as possible. What what are you, what are we doing here? What's Where am going I going? On? Where going am I looking? One Is southwest it... of Golgotha, that one right there, Mervatum. 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 That's the one. You're lost. Lost in the desert is totally fine. You discover shush. Shush ipsilateral. Is, ipsilateral, yeah. We can have a quick look here. I find it very hard to resist checking out a ruin once I've found one. Oh, we can also ask that trash monk where we are and no longer be lost. There was a trash monk? Yeah, there was one uh, west. Go down. Almost to the bottom there. Oh. Oh, skunk. Do, 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 skunky. You're no longer lost. All right. What do you got? Vine, vine wow. leaf tunic. That's not a very helpful thing to have in the desert. Live and drink, my dude. Live and drink, my dude. It's got that skibbity vine tunic. Is this, is this anything? There's nothing here. This is going to be a boring ruin, I can tell. Got a table. You and got a skunk. A table. So, uh, undoubtedly, someone had a yard sale here. Another table. Another table. And uh, a, a pocket. There's that skunk. Yeah, there's that skunk again. Two ghost croissants. Oh. oh, my God. Out of out of completely left, left field, we've got a shade oil injector. Take a bandage. Why not? Sure. Alright. Cool ruin, bro. That, I mean, that was pretty uh, unexciting up until that last second there. Uh, crazy twist. The twist is that there was something. <laughs> Alright. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. Uh, we... Down. Yes. Yeah. This uh, I, I'm very excited for this ruin. This has been one of the you know most chill ruins I think I've ever seen. There's not really a lot to fight. There's a weird Golgotha esque thing going on. Um, there is uh, a lot of books. Maybe the most books I've ever seen in a ruin. Um, did we finish checking out this area before we moved down? Either we didn't, or we did, and it's just all conveyor belts. Can I hit this one? Did there are conveyor one. belts, but I'm pretty sure we didn't. I mean, there's a lot of stuff west of us that are that is unexplored. Nope. All right. Let's let's go. Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. Ooh. Oh. Copper nug. Something different. Uh, I'll take bullets, I guess. Sure. That's one bullet. <laughs> one more bullet I didn't have. Yeah. Take this nub. This is a... Moslick shoots coil. Spicy Golgotha area. Slimy body in coral and citrine. 
some stuff. More books. I need you to stop moving. <laughs> freaking me out, dude. I am. Uh, I would encourage you, even though it's gonna hurt, probably to grab all those books before they get torched. Oh. You're not gonna die. This is not gonna be that bad. Um, the bananas are delicious. I agree. <clears throat> Cold weather, the male exile. Hi there now, miles unabridged. From Starfire along the something. All, All kinds, kinds of, matter. of matter. All kinds of matter. Why, it's a shrine to Daryl Shed. Ah, the prize Julica. Yeah, we've heard legend of this Julica. Oh, I can uh, now we, recover it. We now have the quest to recover Julica. That's exciting. Gnu's grazing. I love Gnu's Grazing. A lump of brassy metal unabridged. My favorite uh, Dr. Seuss book, Gnu's Grazing. And look at that, your first uh, clue rifled from trash. You've learned of the location of a ruin. Dissolved and dissolved is what? We'll never know. Unless we read the book, of course. Each morning to an astronomical body. One. Toadstools unabridged. Catacombs and Telem. One, volume three. Telemi. Catacombs and Telemi. Telemi. See so nothing. So many books. A densely camouflaged leather jerkin. Oh my god. Our pursuit in the scriptorium. Crumbly oh multicolored shawl shirt of vanquish. <laughs> oh right. wow. I feel like there's still some left in this ruin. Suck all those hookahs. Oh, we have Beth. God damn it, we have Beth. That's the one nest. You walked right on it. I know. That is the one thing that can hurt you. And only if you walk on it. All right. Look. I do appreciate that you are going the extra mile to uh, collect every single dram of fresh water from every hookah i guarantee you it is not required you're better off just collecting daggers than you are collecting water but they're there it's there right. um yeah I'm going to suggest we check out the east part of the ruin before we move on because I'm seeing more stuff. The reason it's saying there's no more left oh, is because it, there are some hazards in the way that your character is basically writing off. Where? Where? What do you want? North, what are you about? Northeast. So go east from here. See, there's more books and stuff. Ouch. Ugh. All right, kill that thing while it's discharged. Yeah, there you go. Now you can do an auto explore and collect the rest of the stuff here. Plenty. All right, you're good. Now you can go downstairs. Listen, it matters. If we're going to collect every dram out of every hookah, then we're going to collect every book out of every bookcase. But at what cost, you know? Uh, at what savings? Oh, there's our item. We also have a, uh, a lad. Oh, never mind. The lad is dead. It got electrocuted. <laughs> Very strange ruin. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it, honestly. While well, leading a small army in Grand District Memory. <laughs> I feel like we already read that one. Brachus I've read this slime. one before. So what, what glorious item do you think we have here the philosophical why the philosophical chris, chris of mervatum oh that's a dagger that's not good for us but we can see what it does look uh when power discharges a clockwork beetle friend on hit drain cell power quickly interesting it really makes you think really does make you a think all right well that's fun we got a thing oh yeah those uh those can really hurt 
they all they're they're much like anything else that does electrical damage once it's done it it's it's spent but you don't really want to uh i don't know what i'm shooting i don't know what you're shooting either i think you're hitting the thing below you um let's recover our health actually kill that last thing that's actually not can a... i shoot it i don't think you can you tend to not be able to shoot plants. Okay. You want to kill the yeah. You want to kill the thing <laughs> you're currently standing on. Oh, I'm standing on it. Yeah. How do I kill them at a distance? I don't know. I don't hmm. think I don't think you can. Uh, maybe a flamethrower. Oh, do we have any um, defloral grenades? That could do it. Maybe. Well, I want to open the shelf, I guess. Yeah. G floral grenades. Let's take a look. We might be able to make some. They are rarely Granatus. useful. Undecide. Uh, undecide. No. no. I think you made me sell it. I might have. But did I make you learn how to make it first? Mm, I think we sold it beforehand. But let's check Tinker. Yeah. 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 Um, you could do just an explosive grenade, Mark One. If you throw it, like, right in front of the plant, you shouldn't hurt the books behind it. Or you could just walk around it. I'm not sure why we're... Yeah, like, just walk around it. In fact, if you do an auto-explore, your dude will probably just do that. Not sure if the spider webs on hover sleds. Love that Dr. Seuss book. We've got ourselves a slimo. Deado. Element may be surprised for clothing and Putin Chima. Puma Chitin. Someone's gonna tell me it's pronounced the existence. Uh Kitten. You fool. You fool, it's pronounced Kitten. Can't you see that it's pronounced that way by the fact that it's spelt Chitin? Alright, well. Guess uh that's there's it. some there's some more interesting stuff here. Um, can you, like, click on the uh, westmost tile that you can see? Just so that you don't have to navigate through all that mess? Yeah. This thing? Yeah, that thing. Now, we want to we wanna check that out. Bizarre. Examine. Look or examine. Biz examine. Norm core. Norm core. Yeah, those are cool. Um... Can we try them? That probably means there's more stuff to the west. Let's try and like dig around it. Let's uh, we'll we'll just like smack northwest. You Time can... to equip my old fashioned pickaxe. Pickaxe. Yeah, it's in tools. It's rusted. <laughs> but I can still use it. No, no. Oh. So we'll just we'll just smack it normally. It'll take a little bit longer, but that's fine. So you just like well, we control smack around it. Yeah, do like southwest, yeah, or northwest. That's fine. That's uh, I was already out of my way. It's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty flimsy wall, so you should be should be easy to. Break now back. I'm astrally tethered. Why? Um, that's what the norm core does. Oh 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 oh, that's uh fresh water, I think. No, nope, never mind. Mm -hmm. Brackish. No. All right. Well, let's. Uh, yeah. As I suspected, there's far more to this story. Yeah, the norm core, uh, basically, in a field around it, will astrally burden everything. Um, it can be quite dangerous if you're a mental mutant. Uh, it basically. You're hungry. You're hungry. Did we ever make a meal? We didn't, did we? We ate a thing, and it made me not hungry. Do some ingredients. 
Um, I don't know. You you vaguely know what everything does at this point, but um, don't know what Yakui does. It's a it saves against disease. Yuck. Mm. I don't know. We ought to get ourselves. What's a combo we haven't tried? We've kind of tried everything. We haven't tried fire ant gaster paste, but we only have the one. We have one, one of that. We can always get more. We'll just make some star apple. Crab jerky. Crab. You eat the meal. Uh, I did 10% chance. Ooh, that's kind of nice. For one hour, that's actually really nice. Oh, that first one. Yeah. Stripped balsamic rice. Whenever you take damage, there's a 9% chance you get plus 31% max HP for one hour. That's quite good. We could do the legwork, honestly, and just, like, punch ourselves a few times. Alright, I guess that ruin was determined to be uninteresting at, the, at its last, last gasp. Alright, let's leave. We've got some books to hand in. Wish to go up. Yeah. Is that salt? No, it doesn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna want to get some salt at some point. Wow, that centipede wasn't there before, was he? Oh, I guess there was a nest. I'm friends to the bugs. You are friend to insect. And like kind. All right, back I go. Back you go. Nice. You've got a few now. villages now. It's uh, not, not as common as you might think. So, schematics drafters restock their inventory, so we can check uh check out what they've got. Give book. Here, book. Take book. We don't want book. Don't need book. Won't read book. Here you go. 20,000. Level 22. And you're inspired. Excellent. Oh, what a clever boy I am. Selling books and not reading them. That's right. Um, all right, where's the uh, schematic man? He's outside the front, the the church here. Oh, we're also oh before we do Bethesda Susa, we we're gonna have to throw some technology into the tech the tech hole. You do keep saying that. Well, we got to do it. You can't go to Bethesda Susa unless you do it. Like actually, or you're no, just for, saying it's, no, it's a real. thing you just gotta do. You have to do it. Like everybody has to do it. So, and not to not to spoil anything, but like I'm not spoiling anything because they told you legitimately that the Mechanimus have a church, a place of holy origin in the base of Bethesda Susa. It's at the very very bottom of Bethesda Susa, and unlike this church here in the stilt they will be very unhappy with you entering it unless you're on very good terms with them and we can check in our faction reputation um how much reputation we have mechanimus and it will tell you if we are welcome in their holy places and if we are not then basically the entire church will absolutely go ape shit if you enter it they'll they'll murder you on the spot Ooh, mm. spiral borer we want that. Oh, 510 warder. Yeah. We can get, we can sell our gaslight chisel data disc. We'll need to be Tinker 2, but it'll be worth it. And by the time we want to use it, we will be Tinker 2. I, I pretty much assure you this. Mm hmm. Can you guess what this All thing right. does? Seems like it digs. 
It does down? dig. It does dig down. What are your gigantic, strange tubes? <laughs> Is it just a very large chair? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, let's look. Oh, well, let's identify it? No, let's look. We have to identify. He'll charge you. We can just like examine it out of this menu if we want. I have a funny feeling that it is a gigantic chair because it's not worth any money, apparently. Also, we have seven folding chairs we could disassemble. I really don't. Hold on. Pause. Okay. Let's look at those tubes. We're looking at tubes. Where Maybe are they? Maybe artifacts. That checks out. Nope. So we got... Well, I'll look at this one anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Disarmed <laughs> EMP mine. I can disassemble that. Okay. Gigantic strange tubes. You broke it! Ah, you oh. broke the giant chair. Well, that's sad. Why did you do that? I did what you told me to do. <laughs> uh, I still don't know what they are. Yeah, Can I, I mean, fix them? if we had some uh, fix-it spray foam or the uh, skill that somehow in your playthrough exclusively makes itself relevant in every single episode, whereas in every other version I've ever played is not relevant. I afford it. If I can afford it, I'm getting it. Uh, I might not be smart enough. I am smart enough, and you, I can't afford it. You can. You just leveled up, so you can't afford it. Do you want it? I'm gonna... I do. I'm gonna get it. Because, as you said, it weirdly keeps coming up. Well, uh... My cut world is a broken world. As if you, as if foreshadowing, you did say uh, you were going to take a skill today that would bother and uh, make me cring, and you have done that now. I'm going to fix that chair. You're going to fix it. We're fixing that giant chair. I wouldn't have it any other way, honestly. Well, I would. I I would just tell you to. And to oh, you can't. Re <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> oh, that's fun. We can't repair something we don't understand. Uh, have the schematics drafter tell you what it is. He might even All be right. able to repair it. <laughs> I just realized that you can pay them to repair it for you. I have conveniently remembered I this. still feel good about this. Don't worry. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, now we have to go back to the rusted archway because we have unfinished business there. Okay, why? You keep looking. There you go. Yeah, that's fine. A gigantic Big metal, metal folding, folding chair. chair. The puzzle has been solved. He won't pitch. You, you, okay. There's some people in Grickgate that would repair it for you, but now that you know what it is, you can repair it easily. I'm going to fix that chair. Go ahead. It's not going to be free, by the way. We'll see. We'll see what it takes. Where is it? Where am I? Miscellaneous, probably. Oh, no, there it is. Trinket. Five pounds. Oh my hmm. god. You really are gonna... You're gonna spend a C to repair it. I well, have it... so much scrap metal. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, that's fair. You do get a lot of scrap metal. Perfect. No, you've repaired it. Now what? Now I what? Sit. I'm sitting in a big chair in this man's house. You did sit in the chair. I, I, I would, there it is. I, ch I seriously challenge someone to draw, do a drawing of Bavat Man sitting in a very large folding chair. I, I think that that is drawing worthy. Oh. <laughs> I fell off the chair. Did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> I sit down and then I picked it up while on it, so I fell over. Anyway, okay. Let's afford this drill somehow yeah yeah i want one one please one spiral borer please actually data disc. all right bionic we're gonna sell our uh cybernetics oh wait what? maybe not the skill soft plus but the bionic liver you don't need and like the only reason i'm saying don't sell the skill soft plus is because you know maybe one day i don't know 
Um, let's sell the Gaslight Chisel data disc. We're not going to use that. Um, that's either a long blade or a short blade, but either way, we, we are not using that. So we're you're, halfway there. We're already halfway there. Halfway there. Uh, we could sell our Philosophical Chris of Mervatum. That's actually all the money right there. All right. Just want to remember it. In the arms of Mervatum. All right, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, we might want to, un like, unsell the cybernetics, because that thing will actually just pretty much pay for everything. Oh. I didn't realize that they were going to give you so much. Uh, actually, take the data disk gaslight chisel off, and because that thing is, like, free in terms of weight. It's only one pound, so it's very good trade goods. And there you go. You're perfect. Squared up. What if I want to learn how to make a handrail? Um, we can have a look. It might tell you what kind of weapon that is. It does not. I'm really not sure. It's a, a complaint I have about data disks is that they do not tell you what kind of weapon they are. So, uh, you know, big, big, uh, question mark there. Fitted with cleats is not very interesting. It sounds good, but it's, it's, uh, yeah. Plus two to saves versus forced movement. Uh, I, it rarely comes up, if ever. Like, I honestly can't remember how many times it's happened to me ever. All right. Okay. We've got a spiral bore. Well, we have the know-how. That's true. We have a data disk for a spiral borer. You can't learn it. You're not tinkering to. Ugh. <laughs> a beetle. Yeah, he's there. He's hanging out. All right. All right. Um, that's going to do it for this episode, I think. I'm not sure where we're where we're off to next. We may do we have like another schematics drafter we could have a look at before we end? E no, maybe. I don't think we do. I think we only had the one. That's fine. Okay, um, you know what? Let's go back to Jopa before we end the episode. Wild. Okay. There's a specific reason. No, you don't have to walk there. We we're gonna use a recoiler. I want to walk there. All right. That's a long way to walk. It's very far. That's how you learn new things. <laughs> Zip, zoop, I've been zooping around. You told me I'd never have to come back to this god awful place. Yeah, but then Argive um, got buffed. I, I didn't realize how what a actually very good seller he is. We're gonna we're gonna talk to Argive. There's a specific reason. Um, he, oh my God, the longest way possible. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna see what kind of cybernetics he has for sale. Let's trade. So all those things at the top, there are cybernetics that we don't know what they are. We can pay him to tell us what they are. Might be worth it. Yeah, it'll be costly. Optical bio scanner. That's a big whatever. Bionic heart. Uh, it's an upgrade from bionic liver. I think that's actually quite good. I think that lets you like inject yourself with two um, tonics at once. Fire suppression is a big whatever. Displacer bracelet. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't know. We can have a look at what the bionic heart does. Plus two toughness is actually quite nice. Plus two toughness is actually quite a good upgrade. We could take it and then uh, take it out later. Fire suppression is very um, self-explanatory. You can have a look if you want. Mm. It does mm -hmm. give us uh, anti-fire, basically. 
I might recommend we take that bionic heart. I think that's a pretty good thing to find right now. And, um, like, we could do better, for sure. Uh, I might also say we should take that two-faced data disc. And I'm also going to say you should take that electrical data disc as well. That's a mod. Electrified. Yep. Um, this is another spicy buy. It is a bit, yeah. We can sell that Gaslight Chisel data disc. Um, we can sell your chem cell. We could sell... We, we have it. I know we have the, the stuff. Doopy doop doop doop. Jewel encrusted chrome revolver. Absolutely sell that. You've been holding on to that for a while. Doopy doop doop doop. Yeah, we've got some trade goods we could get rid of. Get rid of your nuggets for sure. And your beaded bracelet. The Jasper gemstone is, um, we don't want to get rid of that unless we have to. I guess we'll have to though. <laughs> You're selling the gigantic metal folding chair? But you've yeah, had it's... so many memories with it. And now that I've repaired it, I, it's, it's worth selling for that one. It's actually water. worth more to you to just disassemble it. <sighs> I'm just saying. Fine. You have you have a, an abundance of scrap metal now, but like that can dry up real quick. I'll tell you what. Okay. Okay, get rid of the Jasper. It's it's gonna have to have to be. It's gonna be worth it. I I promise. All right. Since you're gonna be over now, I don't don't uh, don't be mad at me, but we're gonna keep the gaslight chisel data disc again. Why? It's garbage. Get rid of it. It's only one pound and it's worth 140. So it's very good trade goods. <clears throat> We'd rather keep something like the Jasper, but we don't have the money. You'll just make up the difference with either a chem cell or um, just water. Fine. Fine. Let me sell this spiral borer. No. <laughs> no. Here you go. All right. So, okay, that's going to do it. And then we're going to install that bionic heart on the next episode. How about that? We'll How about that? We're going to install our first cybernetic. Actually, our second, technically. That's our second. We've got shiny feet. We do have shiny feet. All right. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Don't even consider it. Just do it. You could just do it. There's a Don't even think about it. Certainly less ethical things you could do in your day that you will probably do without impulse or with impulse. Bye. Bye.